Hey, Leo, how can I help? Hi, can you search for the latest AI news for me using Proplexity and then send it over through Telegram? I'll help you search for the latest AI news using Proplexity and share it through Telegram. I'll now send this information through Telegram in a well-structured format. I've gathered the latest AI news and sent it to you via Telegram. Is there anything specific from these updates you'd like to know more about? Not really. I'd like to know if it will rain today in San Francisco. I'll check the weather in San Francisco for you. Yes, there's a 50% chance of rain today in San Francisco. It's looking cloudy with possible showers expected overnight. I'd recommend taking an umbrella with you if you're heading out. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Yeah, I'd like you to book a meeting for me tomorrow, 8 a.m. It's between me and Leonardo. It's so that we can talk about the AI Forge Pro community. I'll help you schedule that meeting for tomorrow at 8 a.m. regarding the AI Forge Pro community discussion. I see that 8 a.m. isn't available, but I can schedule it for 9 a.m. tomorrow. Would you like me to book it for 9 a.m. instead, or would you prefer a different time? Yeah, it can be 9 a.m. And the email of Leonardo is leonardogrig at gmail.com. I'll schedule the meeting for tomorrow at 9 a.m. with the email provided. Perfect. I've scheduled the meeting for tomorrow at 9 a.m. An invitation has been sent to leonardogridgemail.com. Is there anything else you need help with? Yeah, I think I need to work out. Can you uh, register a task for me on that? I'll help you create a task for working out. I've created a task for your workout session. Would you like me to add any specific details to the task, like the type of workout or duration? Uh, actually, I think I'll do that tomorrow, so just update it to tomorrow. I'll update the workout task to tomorrow instead. Is there anything else you'd like me to help you with? Yeah, just make a summary of everything you did and send it over to me through Telegram, please. I've sent you a complete summary of everything we did today. Can I help you with anything else? Not really, thanks. You're welcome. Have a great day. And don't forget about your 9 a.m. meeting tomorrow. Wally powering down. Hi there, I'm Leo. Welcome to the channel. I've noticed that you guys really don't mind about introductions, neither do I. I always skip forward to the setup, so let's dive in straight to the setup. The very first thing is heading over to the AI Forge community. You'll find the link to download this file, at which if you drag over to Google Chrome, you can copy it, head over to your workflow, and just paste it in there. As soon as you do, you can save that. And at this point, you'll find that everything here might be red. That's because you have to place in your credentials. If you don't have that, head back to the AI Forge community that you'll find some guides on how to set those up. The only exception is for Brave because I'm using an MCP for it, but it's very similar to the last video that I posted using Firecrawl, with the exception that you'll be using different argument as well as a different environment variable. But before I really go on, the workflow is like this with everything in here because it's just easier to send it out to you instead of sending every single JSON for every single one of these workflows. But ideally, you should place them in actual different workflows. So I have one for a task tool, then I have a different one for the calendar tools, and yeah, it's, it's just better for you to get it all organized. And even if you want to use those workflows as tools for another workflow, you'll have to separate them. Let's now head over to 11 Labs. In here, you'll want to click in Agents. When this opens up, you can click on the plus sign and create a blank template. Hit Create Agent. Actually, you need to give it a name, so Test Agent. When you create the agent, the first thing you'll want to do is place the first message you'll want it to send you. Because if you leave this empty, it won't say anything and you won't actually know when it started. So I'll just place in, hey, Leo, how can I help? For the system prompt, what I had before was exactly this, but I didn't use my current project that I'm working on, which should refine my prompt and remove any duplicates, anything that's unnecessary, any ambiguous phrases, and that will make the AI respond better. 
So you are a helpful, playful, personal assistant named Wall E for Leonardo Gregorio. OK, that's, that's awesome. So as for our LLM, I found that GPT 3.7 takes a very long time to answer. Gemini 2.0 Flash is, seems to be the, like the faster one. But Claude 3.5 Sonnet V2 seems to be the middle term between it being fast to execute and having the best result. Because Gemini 2.0 sometimes fails in delivering like basic tools using basic commands. Now, the most important part are the tools. Let's click on custom tool. Inside this custom tool, let's name it telegram tool. Then for the description, let's place in use this nice. So just use this tool to send a telegram message. You want to choose the method as post. And this URL you'll get from your workflow. So head over to the workflow part where it mentions telegram. Double click this, click production URL, copy that, head back to 11 labs and paste that in there. Select body parameters, enable that. The description for it will be exactly like I used previously. So extract the context of the conversation or the action, correctly send it over to Telegram. Okay. Now for the description down here, just message to be sent through Telegram in Markdown, well structured. And in here is pretty important. It's going to be message, which is the identifier that we'll be using inside of our NAN workflow. Hit add tool, and now the AI has the context to user tool. Back to our workflow, if you want to find this exact chat ID for Telegram, you'll have to send yourself a message. So you'll want to create a Telegram trigger on message. Great. Drag this over here. Select your personal assistant Telegram credential and save that. Head over to your Telegram and send yourself the message. So hi. Back in your workflow, click Executions. You'll find the Telegram execution. Double click that. Copy everything back to Canvas. Editor. Select it and save it. Actually, you don't even have to pin it down or save it or anything. The chat ID is right over here. So all you have to do is grab that chat ID and place it, hard code it in here. So with that done, you can delete the Telegram trigger. Let's continue on from the Brave MCP, which will want to do the same process of selecting the production URL. Heading over to the tools here in 11 Labs, custom tool, the name of the tool will be, select the post method. As for the URL, place in that exact webhook. Go down here, hit enable. Let me see exactly what I've placed in previously. So for the description, it's going to be extract the complete instructions of what needs to be browsed. Add a property. Let me select this description. Identifier will be instruction. Hit add tool. And actually, I need a description for it. So all I said was use this tool to browse the internet. Add tool. Nice. The next tool to add will be the calendar tool. So once again, production URL. Head back here. Paste it down. Post. I've named it booking tool. The description is use this tool to perform booking actions. It could be different. I suppose like using scheduler or something like that could be more efficient. So the identifier is booking details. Describe the booking details. And that is it. Actually, I need the description up here. Gather details specified from the call and execute this request. OK. Add tool, custom tool. Let's continue on. Same exact process. Just head over to this agent right here, which is responsible for the tasks. Place that in there. Post. Place in the name being task tool. Description is this one. Head down to the body parameters. Let me select action description. So the identifier is action description, description, and the description up there is gather details specified from the call and execute this request. This up here, I've used like the same thing for the majority of them. Seems to work fine. It's just because, I mean, there's a lot of descriptions for the same thing. Down here, let me grab this webhook, production URL, copy that. Head over to the tool, custom tool, same exact process, URL, post. Use this perplexity tool to fetch for news. Now, down here, let me enable the body parameters. Add property, description, prompt, final description, add tool, save. 
you might fall into an error while using perplexity, which is because of the authorization. I don't know if I leave this in here hard coded like that, because if I do, it just indicates to people that you should hard code it like this, but this really isn't ideal. You should use environment variables. But yeah, if you want to use it like this, just for testing purposes, go on, whatever. But please avoid doing this, especially if you're working in production or in a team or yeah. Now back to our conversational agent, you can change its voice over here. You can change well, stability, speed, similarity. This doesn't really modify its performance while using the tools. It just makes it like, better to talk to. So analysis, nothing needs to be changed in here. Security, you should eventually change this if you're getting it out for production. Turn timeout is basically the time of silence. So while you're silent, after this amount of seconds, it's going to say, hey, are you there? Or, yeah, say something. Uh, this is bad when you have a very complex workflow that takes a long time to respond because then the AI agent will just think like, it will forget that it's fetching for something and will start to ask you, hey, are you there? Do you have any further instructions while your instruction is running? So that, that, yeah, that's kind of bad. So just increase this over to 15 or 30. It should be fine. When you have your own personal website and you want to place this agent in there, you can grab the embedding code, place it in there and use it as you like. Hit test AI agent and let's see how it performs. Hey Leo, how can I help? Hi, can you fetch me the latest AI news and send it over to me through Telegram? I'll help you fetch the latest AI news right away using perplexity and send it through Telegram. OK, so while it's running here, it just finished running, so the model Let me might... send this information through Telegram in a well-structured format. I've gathered the latest AI news and sent it to you through Telegram in a clean, easy-to-read format. Is there any particular news item you'd like me to dive deeper into? No, thank you. You can hang up. All right, Leo. Thanks for chatting. Beep boop. Powering down. Have a great day. Yeah, you can mess around with the system prompting to make it behave funny if you'd like. But yeah, that's how it works. To download this workflow, just head over to the AI Forge. Let me know if you created a project on which you cloned Michael Scott's voice and used it in Eleven Labs. That would be pretty nice to see Michael Scott acting like someone's personal assistant. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.